in today's video, I unbox the Kill Team Death Watch Starter Set. Let's take a look. Here's what we should expect to see. It's in the box. And then the terrain, because each one of these boxes comes with some form of terrain. In this one, looks like we have some trees, though I'm really looking forward to cracking these guys open and taking a look at them. Because uh, I want to feel like I remember seeing that the um, mold lines and the, the cleanup for these guys are going to be um, quite uh, time consuming. So we'll take a look at that. And the set that you're getting for figures is the... Five man Death Watch Veterans Kill Team. And then, of course, we'll get the cards, we'll skirmish, and then all the tokens, which is always extremely useful. Made in the UK. We'll see if we can't see anything on that, because I thought I want to remember these trees being made in their China shop, but it says UK. Cool. Let's take a look, see what we got. And it looks like, yep, it's got an inner box. We'll see if that's, that just looks like a box. I know sometimes I'll take these boxes and put printing on them to make them game material. And right off we have the rule book, which we'll take a look at here in a second. The cards. Okay, and these right here are probably what a lot of people are most interested in uh, when it comes to these start sets, uh, getting the, the, the cards, the objectives, all that. So let's see here. Take a look at these. There we go. You can see that and pause it if you need to take a closer look and read. And then these are what I really like within these sets, how they give stat cards for the different characters. And these right here are what I really wish they would have done in some way for those data cards. Um, because uh, I really did not like those data cards, but these right here, I love, and I find these kind of things extremely useful. We have one for each of the five named characters that they've made here. And the final one. Cool. And then we have the two scenario objectives. For Death Watch. And finally, the tokens. And let's go test punch a couple of these. Now these definitely do not punch out as easy as some of uh, my other board games that I that I get. It's definitely having to put a little bit of effort in there, but they punch out clean. Don't really have much of a, a burr there, so that's very very nice. Take a look at you. There's nothing worse 
Then when you get one of these and you punch them out and it takes half of your printing along with it. There we go. And then the kill team instruction manual. We'll take a look at that at the end along with the book. So now let's get to the fun part, the sprues. All right, now these are gonna be all the leaves for the trees. Well, these look like they're going to be pretty standard. Uh, see, because they're in that colored. So look at that. Like for this guy all around him. It's going to take a little bit of sanding. Let's see if we can find... Not on this side. Over, take a look at the back. And I don't see one on this side either. See, I'm guessing this guy. Oh, here, wait a minute. What's this? Nope. Uh, Games Workshop 2017. No. Nothing saying where, but. I'm betting these colors, I'm betting that's, that's actually made in their China shop. But that is one of the, the benefits of getting these start sets is that uh, usually once you price everything out, a lot of times um, you wind up, you're getting these terrain, uh, which everybody can always use more terrain, but this terrain at a uh, massively discounted, if not basically free cost. Oh, and we have the main tree bodies and they are, instead of being on sprue, they are just in a bag. Let's see here. That same material though. I was thinking maybe that'd be a, a lighter plastic, but no. Let's see. There's some. Yeah. See, yeah, definitely going to be a lot of cleanup on these trees. That's all right. In the hobby, we have three aspects. Building, painting, playing. So. This will be a larger base. Oh, that's kind of cool. And I don't have it, but this set might make me want to go out and buy that GW Vines set. Because I bet you could take those and really uh, accent these guys and make them a little more unique, a little more you. Lots of detail on these guys, though. So they'll take to a base wash and dry brush really nicely. Looks like we have some mushrooms going on in this guy. Gives you opportunity to put a little bit of color, a little uh, diversity on them. Always nice. And now this next bag. Try to see. Is this just a duplicate bag? Let's see, cause this is from the bag I just opened. And that's from the first bag. Nope, they're slightly different. So you can see the little horns here, not there. So that's cool. And again, 
vegan mushrooms in the vines. Very nice. And let's see, compare one from the bag we just opened, the first bag. Closer. Cool. Oh, nice big. Now, I do not believe this came with bases for these guys. So I'll have to decide on whether or not I want to leave them unbased or put something on them. I will probably try to find buy a big, you know, Titan base or something. Um, so that way I can give the ground more detail. Maybe give it a swamp uh, look to it. So that's really cool. And then we have the bases for our Space Wolves. And finally, we have the sprues. Now this right here should just be your standard Death Watch kill team. But I can already tell that this plastic does not look like the other. This looks different to me. So we'll... So once again, I'm betting this was actually printed. Let's see here. We can take a... See, now that's interesting. Limited 2016. Hmm. But other than that, this looks pretty much exactly like what I'm used to seeing for the Death... For the uh, Death Watch. I'm sorry. I think I said Space Wolves earlier. The Death Watch Kill Team. Which again, this is one of my favorite sets. Just because of all the options you get, all the different heads you get, all the different weapons you get. So especially if you play Death Watch, uh, this set really helps you to uh, build your Death Watch army. And then even if you don't, you know, want to build lots of these guys and you have multiples of them, uh, it's great for parts. So if you're going to uh, get a different uh, set of uh, figures and make them Death Watch, you can steal the backpacks from here. The arms with the uh, the elbow cover, um, the shoulder pads, all of that to really help out to make that kit bashing a whole lot easier and even more death watch. And then here are all those molded shoulder pads that comes with this set, which again is nice. Uh, so if you're again trying to make say one of these factions and they don't have a star collecting or they don't have a a start a base set for them. This is a great set to get to then mold duplicates of these guys. That way you can make your own. Always nice. And then here's the example of the, one of the shorter, one of the arms with the uh, elbow cover. And then one of the things I always like to point out in this set is these shields because I love them. I love the fact that they have this uh, detail on the back uh, that they really go extra to show all that. I love it. First we'll go, here's our instruction manual, which should be pretty standard for these guys. And tools you'll use, all the little extra bits. And these can be found right here. And they really help to make these sets unique and distinctive um, where you just put them on the chest plate side to side and then all of the chapter shoulder pads the heads and the how-to for the watch sergeant so this is definitely larger laid out a little different so they definitely you know re 
at least organized, reprinted the instructions for the set. Now I just like to go through and show all the instructions just in case you get aftermarket versions of any of these guys and you need to know how to put them together. Or eBay versions. And then your black shield for the guy who does not want to say where he came from. And our, our rules. And then rules in the different languages. Flying instructions. And now, how to put together those trees. Now, the one thing that I'm noticing that I'm missing, that I usually like seeing from a lot of their sets, is how they have their paint schemes, color schemes, printed on the box, uh, which is especially helpful for uh, beginning. And I don't remember seeing that. Yeah. No color scheme. Let's see what you have to say for yourself. And then here is the Kill Team booklet. That ruckus you're hearing in the background is my little piggy pals. Very nice art there. And then nice paint version. And they show how they have them all specialized out. That's nice. Very cool. Well, that is the Death Watch Kill Team Starter Set. Hope you enjoyed.